Time for me to get roasted. Nobody in Tyler wants us to be on the map for people to discover Tyler and move here. It's already starting to look like Dallas. Tyler is getting packed. Lol. Tyler is full and overflowing. No! Seriously, do not promote Tyler to new people. Y'all are ruining a beautiful place. Hopefully you know what I'd tell you to do with this. Quit contributing to ruining this area. I sincerely hope that your YouTube channel fails spectacularly. Not just fails, but fails spectacularly. Hello darkness, my old friend. It's my favorite one. These are just some of the comments that I got on some of my most recent videos, and they've kind of given me some inspiration to make this video right here. What I'm gonna do today, I'm not gonna hype Tyler up. I'm gonna give you a list of reasons why Tyler might not be the best place for you to move in your personality. If you're thinking about moving to Tyler, Texas, watch this video through in its entirety, and then look at the points I'm gonna make and just see if, after watching this video, if you still think Tyler will work for you. Some people it doesn't, and that's okay. And we're gonna start with our first reason right after this. Howdy everyone and the warmest welcome back to the channel. For those new here, my name is Ronnie Withers and if you want to know what it's like to live, eat, work, sleep and play in Tyler, Texas and the surrounding areas, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and tap the little notification bell so you are the first to be notified on any Tyler, Texas market updates. I'm getting calls every single day of people just like you who are wanting to move to Tyler, wanting to move within Tyler or sell their Tyler home. So if that sounds like you, please give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email and I'd love to see what in the world I can do to help you and get you into your dream Tyler home. With all that out of the way, let's move on to 14, I think they're 14, reasons why Tyler, Texas might not be the best area for you to move to. In all honesty, Tyler isn't the best place for everyone. Now for me, I love it here. This is the best place I've ever lived in my life. I've lived in England, I've lived in Kentucky and I absolutely love Tyler. But I do realize that it's not for everyone. And these points I'm about to go over, just have a think about them. And if it turns you off, then okay, then you can start looking at other places. And I'd be happy to help you find another real estate agent in, in those areas. But if you're moving to Tyler, I want you to be moving for the right reasons. So without further ado, the first reason why you might not want to move to Tyler is the traffic. So I've already spoken about this before, but Tyler is a small town and it's built like it. It's not built for the amount of growth we're getting here in Tyler, and we're getting quite a lot of growth. So the roadways really aren't the best for facilitating a lot of traffic. So you'll get sometimes during the day, so early in the morning, and then you'll have later in the afternoon, about the rush hour time when people are going into work and when people are coming out of work, you'll have some congestion, you'll have some standstill traffic. It doesn't last forever, and it's not as bad as some of the, some of the bigger cities, it's not as bad as Dallas, but it does get bad and you will be waiting in traffic sometimes. So if you have the luxury of timing when you drive, I highly suggest doing that, but there is a little bit of traffic. And along the same lines as that, we're gonna move on to our second point, which is the bad drivers. Now, I've just gotta say it, the standard of driving in Tyler really isn't that good. I get in the car every day and I'm shocked at some of the, some of the driving skill that I see. I've just had to do my driver's test for my American driver's license because I've been driving on my English driver's license for the last year. I've got to the stage where I've had to get myself an American driver's license. And I was at the DPS uh, last week and I had to do the test. And the test involved me getting in a car. I had to parallel park within cones that were like 50 feet wide. Uh, and then I did about a 10 minute drive around the block. They told me I passed, which I was really shocked about that. It didn't show any of my driving skill or, or anything. So I was kind of shocked at the, the how low the standard is to, to get into driving here. And you can really see that when you're driving about. Granted, Lexington, Kentucky is so much worse. Driving in Lexington is, is awful. But Tyler, you, you drive around, people are distracted, people aren't using their blinkers. Sometimes you, you look at it and you, you think, are they actually bad drivers or don't? Or do they just not know how to drive? One of my pet peeves is distracted driving. I was a police officer back in England and I've seen how catastrophic it can be when you just look down at your phone and you text and drive and how if you take your eyes off the road for a couple of seconds, you've driven the, the length of the football, football field. In Tyler, I look around all the time and I see people just on their phones, distracted driving. These people don't understand how dangerous that actually is. My wife and I first moved here. We were driving, or I was driving in kind of slow moving traffic. I was looking in my rear view mirror and I saw this young girl she was slowly moving towards the car. She was also looking down at her lap. So I could tell she was on her phone. That 
10 seconds later, I braked slowly and then I feel her smash into the back of me. Got out of the car, spoke to her and I was like, you're on your phone, aren't you? And she was like, yeah. So everyone's on their phones. All in all to say, the standard of driving in Tyler isn't the best, but I live with that. I like to think of myself as quite a good driver. So you just gotta be aware of your surroundings, aware that those type of people exist. Make do with what you have. The third reason why you might not wanna live in Tyler is if you're not really a people person. Now, the people in Tyler are really friendly and you'll be really, really surprised by the amount people want to talk to you. I'm coming from a place like England where you walk past people and you don't wanna make eye contact. You don't wanna to talk to people because that's just not what's done over there. But over here, you go out to Walmart, you go out to, to Brookshire's and you just, you pass people in the aisle and they just start up a conversation with you. So if you're not a people person, if, you're, if you haven't got public confidence, you don't like talking to people, then Tyler might not be the best place for you. If you do feel like that, maybe just walk around with some headphones in. People will, will ignore you and not speak to you, but people are very friendly. It's the Southern hospitality. People love talking to you and that's just something you need to get used to. But I quite like it. I like talking, especially when people hear my accent. They love talking to me for, feels like hours, but I love it. It's friendly. You get, you get talking to people. It's a really nice feeling. People are they're nice and friendly. But if you really don't like that, I can imagine how draining that can get. Number four on our list is the walkability factor of Tyler. And this is one thing I've mentioned in my previous videos. I actually didn't realize how many times I said it, but sidewalks. Tyler doesn't really have that many sidewalks in their neighborhoods. Yes, some neighborhoods do, do have it, like the Azalea District, Brick Streets, the historic districts have some sidewalks and some of the newer build communities have some sidewalks, but comparing it to Kentucky where I used to live, everywhere, everywhere had a sidewalk and you could go on walks. My wife and I would go on walks on the sidewalk all the time. It's a weird way to say it. We'd just go on walks and we could use the sidewalk. Over here in Tyler, there you look around and the streets are nice and wide and then you have the grass and then you have people's houses. So it's, it's rare to find a sidewalk to walk along. When you do go on walks on neighborhoods, you just find yourself walking in the road, which isn't the biggest of deal because it's not that busy, but it's just one thing that I've, I've noticed and it's different to other places I've been to is no sidewalks. If you're a sidewalk lover like me, maybe you wanna reconsider Tyler. Bit of a weird reason to not move here, but it is what it is. If you really are die hard on the sidewalks, then we don't have too many of them. Next, the bugs. The bugs here are the size of a human child. You get mosquitoes, flying grasshoppers, anything you could think of. My wife hates them. She's gonna run away. I have to squash them, but they're about this this size. Maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but they, they're very big. It's It's got to do with the weather as well, which I'm gonna move on, move on to in a second, but they're massive bugs. You'll feel like you're being attacked and ganged up on, especially in the summer when the humidity is up there, but you gotta live with those bugs. It's, it's one thing of being in the south, is is the bugs like i said the reason because of that is the next point which is the weather it is very hot here in tyler and in texas in general and if you like the heat then great but if you're coming from a state where it gets nice and cold in the winter and it's, it's nice and cold in fall then you might not like tyler it's the start of december it's the start of december right now and the last couple of weeks some days it's been hitting in the 80 degrees so it it stays really warm especially in the summer it averages in the 100s daily and the humidity is is awful it, it's really up there if you can't handle that then tyler really might not be the best place um, with that humidity comes the bugs comes the sweating all the time the sun just beats down on you now i love a bit of heat but that gets a little bit much so you might have to go to a cooler state uh, to visit for your, for your summer vacations and along with that along with the heat if you're someone who likes the snow, if you're coming from Colorado, for example, and you like a bit of snow at Christmas time in, in the winter, then Tyler is really inconsistent when it comes to snow. So we get snow on average every couple of years and that's like a light sprinkling. And then it'll snow one day and then it'll be 70 degrees the next day. But also the other extreme is for the last couple of years, we've had massive snowstorms where everything's frozen. It's been snowing for a week on end. So it's really inconsistent, but I wouldn't bet on it snowing every year. I wouldn't bet on having a white Christmas. If you want that, go get a log home in Colorado. Very inconsistent when it comes to, when it comes to snow. What I will say, which I've noticed, which I've really liked, and I didn't think I would, is that full time here in Tyler is absolutely beautiful. The leaves are a beautiful shade of red and orange. And it's also warm as well. You get to experience the fall without being frozen, which I love the heat. I'm happy when it's hot. Don't really like the cold, especially when it's gray and rainy like it was in England all the time. So I love it. 
if you like your crisp winter days, we have a couple of them, but not too many. So that might be a point for you to take into consideration. The seventh point on our list is talking to all vegans here. If you are vegan, we're in the deep south here in Tyler. It is what it is. You're, you're really not gonna find too many vegan restaurants. Now I looked on Google Maps and there's three vegan restaurants within a 50 mile radius, which actually surprised me. I didn't think there'd be any, but I'm coming from a place in England, which there were probably more vegans than there were non-vegans and there was a restaurant, a vegan restaurant on every street corner and, and multiple. So it is nothing like that. We love our barbecue here. We love Mexican food. We love our meat. We love hunting. So if you're a vegan, you might be a little bit upset with that. Or if you can cope going to the store and finding things that are vegan, then all props to you, but it's not a vegan friendly place to be. I don't know how many vegans are watching my channel, but if you are, I'm talking to you. Number eight on the list is a lack of public transportation. We don't do a very good job here at public transport. We don't have too many buses. We have some, but it's not really that good. There's not any trains or trams, anything like that. You do really have to rely on driving. And that brings us back to another point is, do you really wanna be on the road with some bad drivers sometimes? Uh, you drive everywhere. If you're, unless you're like five minutes from Tyler, you can't really walk into town. The public transport could be a lot better. You have Uber and Lyft and, and things like that, but it's it's all relying on driving. So I guess that's just the thing about being a small city in the South um, and it not being big enough to, to have those trains and public transport and buses. If you don't have a car, then it might be a little bit difficult to get around. Some people say they like to cycle. I don't know how much I trust that with the drivers, but that is an option as well. The next point on our list is because we're in the deep south, some people consider it the west because it's Texas, but a lot of people would still consider it the deep south. So the type of people you'll find here, a lot of them are country folk. And if you're coming from places like New York City, if you're coming from big cities, you work in a business environment, these people are a lot different than your, your suited and booted people in the city. Now, don't get me wrong, you do have people like that in Tyler, but the further you get out, you'll find that the country folk, the people wearing Crocs, wearing camo, with their mullets, I love these type of people. These people are some of the, the friendliest people I've met. They're really funny. But if you don't like that, if you just want to deal with and talk with people who are sophisticated, sophisticated, whatever you'll your class that as, then might not be the best place, especially as the further you get out in the country away from Tyler, you'll find a lot of people like that. Really nice people, definitely not the most sophisticated, but who cares about being sophisticated? I'm definitely not. I'd call myself a redneck, a British redneck. I don't know if that's a, a thing you can do, but that's what I'd class myself as. I love camo, it's my favorite color. Moving on to something that I've heard a lot about Tyler is a lot of young people have either commented on my videos or I've spoken to, and they've really said that it's really difficult for them. If you're young and single, I can understand your point. There isn't too much to do. Um, I've heard the dating scene isn't that great for young singles. Tyler really is, in my opinion, really good for people who are young married couples, starting a family, or retirees, or people with a family. Now, I'm not saying you can't have a great time here in Tyler if you are young and single, and there definitely are some places you can hang out, and a lot of the people I've, I've spoken to are, are young and, and single, but if you compare it to a bigger city, where you have bars, where you have an actual dating scene, you have a lot more things to do for that crowd. It really isn't as good as that in that regard. Depends what you like, depends if you're an introvert, if you're an extrovert, if you wanna go to the bars to meet, to meet people, then Tyler might not be the best place for you. It's got amazing things to do for families, it's got amazing things to do for retirees, but young singles definitely could be a lot more to do in other bigger cities, like Dallas, for example. Okay, so this is quite a big one, which I didn't really know about until I moved here, but every, most people know that Texas doesn't have any state income tax, which is amazing. Great, more of your hard-earned money in your pocket. I love it. The property taxes in Texas and in Tyler are very, very high compared to other places in the country. Here in Tyler, the average range of property taxes are around two to 4%, which is really high. For example, my house is around $250,000 and we're paying around three and a half thousand, four thousand dollars a year in property taxes, and that's really high. Even compared to somewhere really expensive, like those those of you guys coming from California, the average property tax is around 1.5%. Now obviously it makes up for it in the ridiculously high state income tax in California, but that property tax really is up there in Texas. Now, all in all, it still is a lot cheaper to live here, and you can check out my cost of living video. Because of the lack of state income tax, it really does drop years of living of living here. But that property tax, is high. So I just don't want you to be shocked when you're moving here. 
and you, you see that big property tax bill. Now, one thing we can do here in, in Tyler in Texas is there's something called a homestead exemption. There's certain prerequisites. A couple of them are if you live in the home, it's under a certain price, then you can apply for a homestead tax exemption. You file it with the county and then it takes a little bit of money off your property taxes a year, which saving money is always great. So I'd highly re recommend you doing that. You can find that on your county website. Fill that out, you'll pay a little bit less in property taxes a year. So the comments you, you saw me read at the start of my video are from some people who have commented on my some of my most recent videos. Now, I'd say about 90% of people are really supportive. They love what I'm doing, making videos about Tyler, trying to inform you guys about who want to move to Tyler. And people understand that and, and love it. But there's about 10% of people who do not like change. They've lived there their, their whole life and I completely understand that they don't want their, their city to be ruined by people moving here, having so many people move here that they build over a lot of the greenery. I completely understand that. But some people like to make comments and they like to not really make people feel welcome. Now, most of it's a joke. If you're coming here from, from another state, especially places like California, people really, really have something against people coming from California. But if you're coming from California, if you're coming from Illinois, if you're coming from some of these more political left-leaning states, you can find some people here in Tyler that don't really like that. So you just have to not get offended too easily, brush it off. Most people are joking. Take a joke. I do. I get it. I'm from England. I'm not even from this country. So some people make jokes. It is what it is. I find them quite funny. You'll find people that don't want people from outside of Texas moving into Texas. You just got to brush them off. They must be angry at something else within within them if they're going to make these comments. But most of them are just a joke. You've got to have thick skin, laugh at yourself, have a joke, and you'll be fine. But that really is the minority. And I've only seen it online, people saying that. So the people I've talked to in person love it, especially if you're coming here for the right reasons, which hopefully after watching this video, you'll be moving here for the right reasons. Kind of somewhat related to that, it comes to the fun stuff. I'm not gonna talk about politics too much. I'm not gonna say about my politics, but I will say, Tyler, it's no secret that it is a very conservative place. It's in Texas, which is a conservative state, and besides some of the bigger cities, which are a little bit more left-leaning and more liberal, Tyler is really conservative. According to bestplaces.net, around 70% of people voted Republican here in Smith County and in Tyler, which is quite a lot for a big city. Normally it's around that 50-50 mark, but Tyler is at that 70%. So most people are conservative. You will find people who, who aren't and uh, who have different political beliefs, but in general, in Tyler, love God, love guns, love freedom. That will be the general consensus. You'll see a lot of American flags, which I absolutely love. I love this country, I love America, and, and I love seeing the, the American flag everywhere. You don't see a lot of people talk, they don't bring it up every day in conversation, but if you aren't lined up with those beliefs, then I'd definitely say it, it would probably be a little bit harder for you to, to make friends and, and fit in. Not saying you can't do it, but there's less people who believe in what you believe in uh, socially. So that may be one thing to consider. Also along that line, Tyler and, and Smith County in East Texas, one of the first people to, during COVID, get rid of masks, get rid of mask mandate, no vaccine mandate, remove social distancing. And nowadays in 2022, I don't see anyone wearing a mask. No one's social distancing, everyone just in the in the same place enjoying their lives. And if that's something that you're worried about, if you, if you like wearing a mask, if you are worried about social distancing and seeing if people will do that in stores, they really won't here, um, I've just got to say. So if you're worried about that, Tyler really might not be the best place for you. The, the main thing I found here is, it's almost like that you see the flag, it's like, don't tread on me. It's like, if you don't interfere with someone and their life, what they're doing, they won't interfere with yours. You're not gonna get into a political debate on the street. So you don't really have to worry about that, but it is more conservative. And that moves us on to the last point as well. Tyler is a very Christian city. I love that. I'm Catholic. I think it's amazing to be around a lot of people, a lot of faithful people. And the vast majority of people are Christian or call themselves Christian. Again, that's around 73% of all people here in Tyler consider themselves to be Christian. And you'll see that wherever you look, you'll be able to see a church and some of these huge churches. So there is a, a huge Christian population here. You'll, you'll know that after you speak to a lot of people. Like I said before, people, once you get to Tyler, you're gonna have so many people invite you to their church. It's, it's crazy. But one thing I have heard for people who aren't Christian, Christian or aren't religious, they have a lot harder of a time finding people to hang out with and finding friends who you don't meet in church. 
Not saying it can't be done. There are a lot of, a lot of different groups. Just look at the, the Tyler Reddit page. You'll be able to find people. It's just a lot more difficult than it would be in another city where you've got a lot more things to do to make friends. So that is one thing I've heard. Quite a few people have said, look, I'm not Christian, I'm not religious. I'm finding it really hard to make friends. And I, I get that. Obviously, there's only a certain amount I can get that. I'm, I'm married, I'm Catholic. So it's not as difficult for me, but I can completely get how that would be difficult for someone else. But I will say, if you, if you search for it, there are clubs there are societies you can join, there's meetups, there's coffee shops. There are ways to make friends outside of the church and outside of going to the bar and the club, but just a lot more difficult than in some bigger cities. So that is it. That is everything I could think of. I've looked through all my comments, looked through all my messages. They're the things that people have said generally why they don't necessarily like Tyler or why they wouldn't choose to move here. Like I said, I absolutely love Tyler. It is my favorite place I've ever lived. None of these things matter to me. I can see past its flaws and every city has flaws, but this fits me and I absolutely love it. If you've made it to the end of the video, thank you very much for watching. Like I said, my name's Ronnie Withers. If you're thinking about moving to Tyler, Texas, go ahead and give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email. I'd love to see what I can do to help you get you into a nice house in Tyler and get you into your dream home. If you've got any comments, please leave them below. What have I missed? What don't you like about Tyler? What have I said on this list that you disagree with? If there's enough comments, I'll, I'll make another video on this. I'm really interested to see what you think, what you think about living in Tyler, Texas, or if you've got any questions about moving here, type them in the comment box below. Until next time, cheerio.